Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jasmine and you're watching Jasmine It Up. In today's video, I have another haul for you guys. I do have a playlist on my channel if you guys like to see hauls, Ulta, Sephora, TJ Maxx, Walmart, all the good stuff. I'll go ahead and leave that playlist in the eye for you guys to binge watch some of those. But today I ordered from Shop Miss A. So basically, it's an online website that everything is basically a dollar unless you're ordering like a brush set, then obviously the price goes up a little bit. Super affordable and the products are great. I have ordered from this website before and I enjoyed a lot of the items I got so I am going to be hauling everything that I ordered and in the future I will be doing a full face of Shop Miss A so make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified when that video gets uploaded but without further ado let me show you guys what I picked up from the Shop Miss A website. Alrighty, first item I picked up here. This is a eyeshadow palette. This is the self-made palette. It has 25 eyeshadows in here. This is what she looks like. Very colorful. Um, I ordered this a while ago. I want to say the shipping took a little bit longer than I expected, which I completely understand with the pandemic and, you know, not as many people working. But I want to say it took over two weeks and it said it was going to take like seven to ten business days. But I totally understand. So I kind of forgot some of the things that I ordered. But it has some neutrals in here has some bright like blue and some greens. I'm gonna swatch a few of these for you guys. I'm very interested. When I ordered the first one, I didn't pick up any eyeshadow palettes, so I'm very interested to see how these perform. Oh yeah. Those are actually pretty pigmented. I'm very surprised. Definitely buildable. The shimmer shade actually showed up really, really well. So I'm super excited about this. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a full face of Shop Miss A products. So I'm very excited to try out the eyeshadow palette. Next item I see here. This is a Studio Perfect Finishing Press Powder. This is the AOA brand. Here's what it looks like. I got mine in the shade Banana. So just a simple um, pressed powder. And like I said, everything is pretty much a dollar. So this was a buck. And another AOA Studio Perfect item I got was this highlighter. I'm going to go ahead and swatch this for you guys as well. I got mine in the shade 206 Refined. So here's what it looks like. It's pinkier, a little bit more rose gold. And oh, that is so pretty. Super champagne-y, nice and pink and light. I'm actually very excited about this. And I'm sure when you put on like a spray and then you put this on top of it, it'll probably be even more pigmented. So I'm very excited about that highlighter. Next item I picked up here, this is also from the AOA Studio. This is a mask brush. I actually used to have one of these a while ago. It came in like a set with some mud mask and I absolutely loved the brush, but it ended up breaking. Um, so I purchased another one. The one that I had was like an oval, like an egg shape, but this one is more like a, like a mermaid tail shape so you get right underneath like the eyes and literally get this in every single crevice this is awesome I love doing mud masks and sometimes I need a brush like this just to apply it. I could use my fingers um but then your fingers get all dirty so I'd rather just clean the brush so I'm very excited and I love the bright pink so this is awesome I'm very excited to have this alrighty next item I have here is a concealer this is the natural finish medium to full coverage liquid concealer this it says it was a dollar 55 this was a special edition one so I'm gonna go ahead and pop this open to see what it's like so it doesn't come with like a brush or anything it's literally like a tube and I guess you just pour it out it's super liquidy and it's a little thick I think this may be a little bit light for me <laughs> and it doesn't have like a strong scent to it it just smells like liquid makeup like just just like any other concealer or foundation this is really nice I could definitely see this being medium to full coverage for sure but hopefully this will be my shade when I put it on I'll make it work somehow but I'm super excited this definitely looks full coverage for sure next item I picked up this is a sponge this is the mochi wonder blender this was a dollar 88 it says but I'm very excited it, it feels very soft and I heard great things about the shop miss a like the sponges that they have on the website I've actually heard really great things about it so I ended up picking up another sponge. This is the Paw Paw brand. This is their Wonder Blender and this one looks like the Real Techniques, like the size um, and like the shape of it. But this one feels super soft as well. I'm very excited to test both of these out. This looks awesome. I absolutely love the way this shape is, like the Real Techniques one. I just love that shape so I feel like I'm definitely going to be in love with this sponge as well. And it's only $1.55 on their website. Next, I picked up a few sheet masks. The first one I have here, this is the Tea Tree Calm and Refine Facial Mask. So a while, a while back, I actually used to get Ipsy bags. And this is one of the brands that they had included into one of my bags. And I absolutely fell 
fell in love with this. So when I saw it on the shop Day, I was so surprised and I had to pick one up. So I got the tea tree one and if I'm correct, it's the same brand. So I already know that this is going to be amazing. Um, anyway, so I'm very excited to try this out. And the other one I got is a bubble collagen facial mask from Daggett and Ramsdell is the brand. Here's what it looks like. And I was very intrigued, obviously, of the bubble part. I don't know how this mask is going to work. Like it's, it looks like a sheet mask. And I guess when you start rubbing it in, it turns into bubbles or bubbles start foaming. I have no idea. I'm very intrigued by this. I just, I definitely want to test this out to see how this is going to work out and if the effects are better or if there's any difference between a regular sheet mask and then a bubble mask like this. All right, let's move into some more makeup items. This next item I have here, this is the AOA Studio Buildable Satin Foundation. This thing is so tiny. This is not even one fluid ounce. This is a, a 0.64 fluid ounce. This is super, super tiny, super liquidy. It has like a little dropper here that goes with it. I'm very excited. You guys will be able to see how this performs in my full face of shot miss a so make sure you stay tuned for that but i'm very intrigued by this um the color looks good and it says you have to shake this well so i don't know what kind of formula this is going to be but it says satin foundation so we'll see how that performs the next item i have here i picked up a facial spray this is the zuri flawless is the brand um, makeup setting spray and this is the matte finish it says it keeps your makeup looking gorgeously just apply for up to 16 hours so that's a really big claim i don't know who's wearing their makeup for 16 hours but this is 2.1 fluid ounces so let's see how this works works out like I said everything there is a dollar so if I paid a dollar or even two dollars for this setting spray and it works really really well as, as it claims um I'll be very very impressed next two items I have here this is the halo highlighter and this is the lumi radiant blush they're in very similar packaging so I'm going to go ahead and open up this highlighter I got mine in the shade 83 blissful it feels super soft oh my Oh, and she's very blinding as well. I'm using natural lighting right now. So if this is what's going to look like on my face, like when I'm outside, I'm very impressed. On my hand, it looks kind of chalky. But when you're looking at in the sunlight, it looks very beaming. I would definitely be setting my face with that setting spray and applying this to make it look even more vibrant. But I'm very impressed just by the swatch. So we'll see how this works out. And let me go ahead and swatch the blush I got. So like I said, this is the Lumi Radiant Blush. And I got mine in the shade. 93 ravish same texture very soft and this is like a corally red shade almost and super pigmented right off the bat it's very orangey and it has some shimmer in it which i prefer i don't like just a flat matte blush at the moment i'm very into the shimmery um like sparkly kind of cheek look so this looks very nice i'm very excited to test these out one item i'm super excited about i actually picked up a brush set all right so let me pop this open i absolutely love the case bright pink and this is perfect for traveling so right away when i open this it smells like um paint like um like spray paint so it has a very strong smell i don't know if i'm supposed to wash these brushes when i first use them or what but i just smell paint anyway so these are all eye brushes i love the container it is perfect for travel like i said but here's what these guys are looking like they have the white brush heads oh and they're very soft so I am super excited to test these out. I probably will test these out even before I do the video of Full Face A Shop Miss A products because I'm just so intrigued. I want to say that that set was $10. These brushes look very promising. All right, we are almost done with everything I got. I just got a few more bits and bobs to share with you guys. So this next item I have here, this is the Wonder Skin Perfecting Blur Primer. This is not even a fluid ounce. It's 0.67, but it looks, it's just clear. I don't know if it's going to be silicone or what, but like I said, we'll go ahead and test this out. Hopefully it'll be good. It just says apply from the center of your face outward and let it sink into your skin before applying foundation. So I feel like this is one of these that you have to put it on and then do your eyeshadow and then do your makeup and that's how it's going to work out. So I'm very excited to test this out. Next item I picked up was a lip product. This is the Diamond Lip Gloss and I got mine in the shade Cosmic. So this is super, super purple and glittery. Let me pop this open so I can swatch it for you guys. Oh, can you see that? There we go. It is very light. It literally just looks like clear purpley glitter, 
like it's very glittery and purple like it, lo it looks exactly how it looks in the tube so this is just going to be a great topper when we're doing some fun looks but very glittery and it does have that hue of purple in it i did pick up a couple more lip products this next one here is just a clear gloss this is their honey gloss and mine is in the scent cherry and it is from the brand starry that they sell on that website so i just wanted to pick up this clear gloss because sometimes that's just what i'm looking for i don't need any tint or sparkle in my gloss i just want clear so i wanted to pick one of these up and i also got this wonder matte liquid lipstick tell me this does not look like a color pop packaging like this literally looks like color pops like liquid lipsticks so let me go ahead and pop this open i got mine in the shade hero look at this can you guys see this it's like separated like you see how this is darker and this is lighter this is like a thick consistency and this is like water watery and like oily this looks so gross something happened something went wrong the fact that the liquid lipstick is separated from the water consistency to like a thick chunky concealer um it's very unsettling to me so i don't know if i'm gonna try this out but we shall see in that video because i may have gotten a bad one unfortunately Alrighty, next items i have here these are two eyeliners these are their gel eyeliners from aoa studio and i got mine in a burgundy shade and i also got it in forest green so i wanted to pick up two eyeliners because i didn't have any red eyeliner shades and I didn't have a forest green one so I wanted to pick these to add these to my collection and I also picked up a brow product this is their slim brow and I got mine in the shade dark brown and this is a retractable one so I'm just gonna see um in that video how this works out I don't usually use just brow pencils to do my eyebrows I usually do a pomade or I do like a wax consistency and do powder so we'll see how this works out for me I have a few items left I picked up an eyeshadow primer this is their perfect eyeshadow primer by AOA studio so I'm very excited to test this out I also wanted to pick up a fun color eyeliner so this is their starlit liquid eyeliner and I got mine in the shade paparazzi it's like a burgundy orange like shimmery shade so I wanted to pick up something fun for the holidays so I'm very excited to try this guy out and last but not least I also picked up a setting powder this is their AOA studio perfect setting powder and I got mine in the shade banana as well and this is the loose version and this is is seven grams I love testing out powder so I'm super excited to see how this performs and if it makes my makeup last longer or if it just works like any other regular powder so that is everything I got from the shop miss a website don't forget to subscribe to my channel it's the red button down below like I said a million times I'm gonna be doing a full face of shop miss a products I'm pretty sure I hit every single category that I need to do a full face so make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload that video also don't forget to follow me on my Instagram it is jasmine underscore up and my business Instagram is treats by Jasmine and my snapchat is Jasmine underscore lie 30 so make sure you follow me on social media to see what I'm doing when I'm not uploading and editing videos and I hope you guys just have a great day Psh!